Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Azure Data Factory Master Program. So in today's session, we will be talking about how to pass barrier token from web activity to copy activity in Azure Data Factory. So generally, as you know, whenever we are copying data from REST API to the data lake storage gen to our SQL database, the common requirement is we need to get the token, latest token, and we need to pass it to the copy activity because token is something which will be active for five minutes or 10 minutes. So that will be keep going as a inactive. So what you need to do whenever you are copying the data, you need to get the latest token that particular token you need to pass it into your copy activity to read the latest data from REST API uh, and uh, you can able to load it into the target target it can be SQL database or it can be data lake blob anything so today so in this particular session the prerequisite is I'll be using Azure Data Factory to copy data from REST API to ADL Gen 2. Uh, so the source is this is the online URL. If you use this URL within this, you will know uh, the URL which we are using for login, the URL which we are using for accessing the user data. So the third uh, step is we will be creating the data like storage Gen 2 for storing our target data. So uh, let's quickly jump into our hands on lab. For this, what I have done is already. I just created if you look at right so i created the data factory i just created a data like storage gen 2 if you see okay if you see the data like storage gen 2 i created data factory i created and this is online url within this you can able to see for login into this particular um, uh, rest right so this is the login uh, rest api url you need to use if you log in you will get the latest token once you get the load latest token what you can do is using that particular token so you can see the token right using this particular latest token you can able to pass this token from web activity to the copy activity what copy activity does is copy activity uses that token here and it does a uh, barrier token authentication and extract the data from rest api load it into the data lake so the first step is let's go into the azure data factory Let's create the two linked services. Launch the studio. We will be creating the two linked services in the Azure Data Factory. One is for the REST API, one is for the data like storage gen 2, which is our target. So I'll be just going to the manage. Let's click new, create a REST API linked service. So I'll be just saying LS for okay, a REST API okay this linked service i'm using for uh, referring in the copy activity because uh, in copy activity when i create a data set i need to refer right so what is the use of the source data set to read the data which data it it reads the all user data from the page one as i'm giving otherwise if you're giving till users it will read all the user details so i'll just give this as a base url and come down you will be able to see the username and password if you see in my uh, previous sessions right in our previous sessions we have already discussed about these things right this is my username this is my username you just put that username here this is my password basic authentication username and password so if you have any doubt how to get this username and password how to register for this particular REST URL, you can just uh, follow my REST API video series. In that uh, each and every step I have explained. And now, so linked service for REST API we created, let's create a linked service for ADLS Gen 2. LS for ADLS Gen 2. Come down, select storage account. This is the account key, test connection. Create it. So, the data like storage gen 2 connection also we have created now so now what we need to do go to author tab let's create a data set instead of creating data sets let's come to the pipeline in this pipeline first activity which we need to use is web activity what is the use of web activity is we will be logging into the rest API to get the latest token how to get that so come here go up you'll be able to see the login a REST API. So this is the login one. You can see the method that we need to use is post. So I'll be just go to settings, keep the URL here. The method as we have just seen the method we need to use is post. Okay. And body you need to use. So what is the body? If you see here, the body should be this. So what it is having, it is having the 
username and the password. So I'll just get my username. This is the email that I'm using okay, as a user. Next. So this is the password that I'm using. So just use the email and the password. So once you have provided all those things, you don't require anything else. You just debug now. So I'm just debugging till here, just to show you that uh, web activity will fetch the latest token. So it got failed. Why oh, it got failed? Let me check it once again. Whatever I passed is correct. Login is correct. Post method we are using. There is a lot of spaces here. Okay, so here if you see password, we forgot to put the double quotes. Just put the double quotes for the password and debug. Now you can see successfully it is authenticated. Now click on that right side. You see your token. This is the latest to token. Every time when you access, every time when you log in, you'll get a new token. If you see earlier when I log in, I got the A2, A3. But now when I log in 0, 5, 8, 7, I'm getting meaning the login. Whenever you log in, you will get the latest token. So the previous token will be inactive, inactive. You cannot able to use. So you will be using this particular token to access the data. So that's how the real time uh, tokens will be generated. These tokens will be available for 10 minutes. Every time when you want to extract the data, you need to generate a new token. Now, how to pass this? You know, whenever you want to pass some output of one activity to the other activity so that particular activity of activity dot output to dot data dot token what is the formula data dot token so if you have any doubt what you do copy this content and keep it here for safe side okay keep it here so this is something which i need to pass so what i will do now i'll just use the copy activity next to this web activity let's put the copy activity okay copy this source okay so source is rest api let's create a data set rest api yes for rest use this linker service uh, just click ok yeah, as you know in order to get the data from this particular uh, source right user details if you want to get it so you need to pass the header header is authorization right authorization is the key for the header so within the source data set, if you see additional headers, right? You just click new header. So header is authorization. Click on this, add dynamic content. Here, what you need to add is, if you go here, you will see barrier. You just have to add the barrier and the token should be dynamic, right? So how you will pass dynamically? So you just to see your web activity dot. So, okay, when you just click on this, it will give you at the rate activity of output dot okay you just put output dot okay output dot data dot token you need to take okay data dot token okay this is all so once we have given the dynamic content it will pass from web activity to the copy activity so we can successfully able to read data from source now i need to load this data into the sync Sync is what data likes to regen to. As I have not created any container, I want to load it as a CSV. ADLS Gen2. So this is a linked service. Okay, browse it. So you don't have any container I have created. Let's create the container on the fly. So subfolder, you can create something like India slash landing slash. Uh, this is basically user data. Okay, year, month, day also you can able to generate dynamically. Okay. So now click OK. So before you click OK, import schema. You can't import schema as there is no folders existed. Select none, click OK. So now what happens is you will not be able to load the data. The reason is if you see the output will be something like this. You have the uh, audit columns like this and you have actual user details are there in the within the collection, within the data. Data is a collection. It is a area of values, right? So multiple values will be there, area of items. Now to parse that, how to pass the complex uh, collection of elements, we have discussed in detail. For that, what you will do, go to the advanced tab. Okay, so click import schema first. So it is asking us to pass the token. 
so for now what we can do is we can able to uh, it is asking us to in order to test that it is asking us to pass the token so i'll just take this token because this will be active so just to test this okay to get the import schema so i need to pass the token i will be passing the token here this is just this is just for import schema i'm not running python okay now it fetched the data but this is not the actual way to import the data uh, data column right because it's a collection now what you'll do now you clear it now you can click on this this is the basically collection of uh, elements under this particular data uh, key under data key we have actual area of items so how to parse it in detail we have discussed in the previous session i request all of to all of you to go and watch that particular session now you can just click okay so import schema now you should be able to see it is good right id name email everything so including the audit columns all the uh, items of the all the user details also we are collecting from the source and importing into the ingesting into the data now just in debug this pipeline okay what i have done so in the mapping tab i just have enabled the advanced and uh, i just uh, collection references data it is having the collection of elements from data id name email profile picture location created data all these things and these are audit columns so but these are uh, coming from the data so under data we have multiple user details everything we get now you can see what happens is basically web activity has passed this particular token to the copy activity okay you can see so it has passed the token as 6d4ac which is the latest token you can say 6d4ac okay that's how real time will work where we will be taking the latest token and we will be passing to the copy activity to read the data now as we are also collecting and parsing that particular collection of elements i'll also show you the output so if you want to more details how to parse the, such kind of collection you can go and watch my previous session where we have discussed in details okay if you open this particular file you should be able to see all the data is available so these are the first four columns are the audit columns and the rest of the data is basically you can see developer as man or developer on the show on to the so all these are the actual user details that we got it from the page one so how to iterate through the pages and all we will be seeing in the future sessions okay so that's all team if you have any questions i request all of you to post your questions in the comment section at the same time i request all of you to subscribe my youtube channel and uh, uh, encourage me to get a all real time scenario dabs thank you